First on the list is a file manager that lets you hide any of your sensitive files easily. Just launch the app and you'll be redirected to your file manager and here just select and move the file you want to hide to Animo and simple as that you can hide any of your personal files. And now no one will be able to access those files without a password. Plus, for the few of you who will have trouble setting the password for Animo, just tap and hold on the app icon in the app drawer and then select configuration, then select set password and set your password and then select lock storage access and simple as that you can lock your storage access to Animo so no one can access your private files. Next on the list is Podverse. Now Podverse is an app that lets you listen to various podcasts of your choice for free. And with the app, you can download or stream any podcast. You can also mark the podcast as played. You can play the podcast in different speeds. You can set a sleep timer. And if you log in or create an account in the app, you can create a clip from a specific part of a podcast if you'd like to share the moment with others. Next on the list is an app that lets you transcode video files from one file format to another file format with ease. And with the app, you can transcode videos from one file format to another file format based on the video container, codec, FPS, resolution, bitrate and so on. And you may be asking, how on earth is this app useful? Well, that's a great question. Take an example of WhatsApp that it doesn't allow you to upload a video status or send video files in formats other than MP4, MKV, AVI, MOV and 3GP. So if you have a video that's in other formats, you can simply use the app to decode the video for easy sharing. This is Wasted. And no, I don't mean the one from GTA. Now, Wasted is an app that lets you erase all data from your phone easily in case if your phone is lost or stolen. And with the app, you can choose from a number of triggers such as a fake airplane mode tile that when activated would lock your phone or erase all data. You can also set a lock trigger which would fire when your device isn't unlocked for a certain amount of time. There's also a USB trigger that would fire when it detects a USB data connection when your device is locked. You can also use a notification trigger by which the app would scan all notifications and when it detects a notification with a secret code, it will fire and erase all data or lock your phone. And a huge warning to all of you is that, do not, I repeat, do not test the app when the wipe data option is activated because the moment you use any of the triggers, the app will factor reset your phone and you lose all your data just like the way CJ did. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. So always double check to make sure that this option isn't checked before testing the app. Hey, picture that someone snatched your phone from you and by bad luck it was unlocked. Can you imagine how much of your private data can that person access? Plenty, right? Now, with the app Private Lock, you can easily avoid your data from being accessed even when someone snatches your phone from you. Just set the lock sensitivity of your choice and then start the service and now whenever someone snatches your phone from you, the app will automatically lock your phone, keeping your juicy data safe. This right here is an app that lets you download subtitles for any movie or TV show. Just search for the movie name and select your preferred subtitle language and hit download and you're done. Plus, if you have a lot of movies on your device and you don't want to type in the movie name manually, just select any movie from your device and the app will autofill the movie name and now just select your subtitle preferences and hit download and you're done. And hey, if you want to discover some of the most unique open source Android apps that nobody talks about, click the video on the screen to see those apps too. Thank you for watching, this is Hakmite and I'll catch you in the next one.